Another day, another dollar in this beautiful world we call truck driving. Now, I know it's tough out there, truck drivers. You got to hold on tight. Every day that goes by, it gets harder and harder and harder. Is OTR trucking dead? What we're gonna talk about in today's video is OTR trucking dead. Now, I'm gonna relate this to the oil field. When I got into the oil field in 2017, the rates was pretty high. They was paying real good detention out there in the oil field. They call it demerge. Detention slash demerge was about 120 dollars an hour. Once you get to the staging pad, you sit two hours for free. Every hour after that, the truck collected $120 an hour. That was in 2017, 2018. But as time went on, and the government lost control of that border down there in Texas, for you guys that worked down with me down in South Texas, down there in Laredo, Texas, you know, that very last sand plant before you cross over into uh, Mexico. I'm talking about the, it's like the last road. I'm talking about the sand plant that's beside the little river, and on the other side of the river is Mexico. You're talking about like you can just swim right across and you know, that sand plant. I think it was like Twin Twin Falls or Twin Peaks or something like that. It was, it was way, it was the, the last road in Laredo and you know working down at the sand plant of course you used to always see the uh Latinos come across and they'd be on the lease roads and they had their backpacks and their waters and they would be friendly they wouldn't do nothing to the truck drivers as we rode down the lease road and us being truck drivers we didn't know that they was illegals but you know border patrol would be out there you know uh, during the daytime at nighttime you know not really no border patrol. That's why they waited the night time to come across. But as time went on in the oil field, 2019, 2020, 2021, detention went from 120 an hour to $80 an hour to $40 an hour to today you sit for free. You sit for free. For however long they need you to sit. It could be a whole day, two days, three days, four days, 48 hours straight. It don't, you sit for free. And you complain. Except for when you complain, there ain't nobody listening to you. But the other guy, the other truck driver sitting beside you complaining about the same thing. But uh, ain't nobody doing nothing. So, And like I said, from 2017 to now, the rates for pneumatic went down, down, down. Then eventually it went so far down to where they just say, you know what, we ain't operating no new matters at these prices because you got about $10,000 blowers and, you know, blow the sand off. We need to find something that we can, uh, some type of trailer we can operate this stuff at a, uh, a cheaper margin. So they, they, let the pneumatic guys go and they started bringing these bringing in hopper bottoms you know hopper bottoms that's what they brought in why because you don't need no blow to blow off no hopper bottom you just load that thing from the top and drop it down to the bottom so when the hoppers came in guess what they was able to do lower the price even more and continue to lower them and then eventually <laughs> 2022 2023 you guessed it Migos came through with the international CDLs and the cheap trucks. And now, that whole West Texas area, foreigners didn't take it over. All the foreigners didn't take it over. Rates is as cheap as it could possibly be. So, seeing the same thing going on with this OTR thing. You know, back in the day, it used to be, you know, the mega carriers... Landstar used to be a big thing. You know, all the American companies that used to be a big thing. Even though they didn't pay much. You know, big mega carrier, they didn't pay much. But, hey, you know, once you graduated and got your own truck and trailer, the rates was high enough for you to be able to survive and make money and 
you know, uh, be able to grow a fleet like casting over in SoCal and them did back in the day. Because all them guys started back in the day. You know, they're not really suffering now because a lot of this stuff got built back in the day with the mega carriers and stuff. But as time went on, <laughs> after freaking uh, 2020 came, all of a sudden you start hearing about, man, they got these companies up in Chicago. They ain't Americans. They paying 70 cents a mile. They paying their lease drivers. These lease drivers, man, lease drivers take on, you know, 10000 No, no, let me, let me take that back. $5,000. We make it $5,000 a week over here VL trucking. In comes the Russians. Bosnians. All these people from everywhere outside the United States. And they started to take over the OTR world. And look at it now. Now, huh, now, the question is, with the Russians trying logistics, Super Ego, all these Chicago-based companies, with them taking over OTR and uh, finding workers that's willing to work for less money, just like the oil field, is OTR did? Is it worth it to be OTR anymore? I was talking to one of my friends yesterday, the one that gave me the secret shop for my uh, fifteen thousand dollar flat, time to get rebuilt. We was uh, talking about drivers uh, <laughs> picking cotton. He said, "No, Andrew. No, you see, the bale of cotton is not the problem. See, when Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all them come over to purchase." The bale of cotton for their clothes. That one big bale of cotton is running them fifty thousand dollars. So it's not the cotton, it's not the product that's cheap. It's when the truck driver shows up, you guessed it, to pick up the cotton, to pick the cotton. That's when the free labor, free free transportation across the country comes in. It's about you know, who can come and transport it the cheapest? Who can do it for free? Do we got a lease driver that's look like he's going to be in a hole this week? He can do it for free. Let's get him to transport that thing for free. So, it's not the cotton that's cheap, a.k.a. the product. The sand is the exact same sand. Look, the sand ain't never changed. In 2017, we was all hauling 100 mesh. 40, 70, I think 30, 50. <laughs> and every year, it's the exact same sin, the exact same product. The only thing that changed was the people transporting it. <laughs> they found cheaper workers, cheaper equipment. That's it. It's just the people transporting it. It's not the product. Same thing with drive-in. People have been transporting the same thing in drive-ins across this country for decades. The only thing changed was the amount of truck driver needed to transport it. Well, you know, we could get you them load of apples coming out of Washington all the way across to Boston, Massachusetts for you know, $14,000 in that reefer, but uh, psh, can't do it for 10 Yeah, I, I could do it for 10 I, I could do it for 10. Oh, okay. Go do it for 10. Find your way back. Well, you know. Man, we had somebody undercut you, man. Driver just left up out of here, man. Said, you know, he took it for 8, man. Really? I could do it for 7,500? Oh, you can? Well, let me, let me tell that driver. Hey, don't, don't load that driver out there. Don't load him. Got somebody can do it for 7500 You go across 7500 Find your way back. You come back, man. Inflation going through the roof. Price to run my business through the roof. Man, you know they just raised minimum wage over here, $20 an hour over here. Over here in this West Coast area, man. $20 an hour, man. Man, we, man, we, 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 we suffering over here, man. 
Hey, can you haul these load of apples to Boston, Mass. too, man? We're going to give you 3200 Oh, you can do it for 3200 Oh, okay, good. Yeah, man, that, thanks for doing me that favor, 3200 Uh, Don't ever ask for no 14 10 8000 ever again. Just an example. Just an example. The freight never changed. They've been picking up the same apples up there in Washington for decades. <laughs> for decades. They've been running it, Boston, Massachusetts, running it down to Florida. Kiss me of Florida to be exact. They've been picking up them oranges down there in Kiss me, <laughs> although it don't pay the same. See, the product never changed. It's just cheap labor. Cheap. It just got cheaper and cheaper and cheaper until eventually it ain't even fun no more. Eventually... It's like, well, you know what, man? This thing that got so cheap. Uh, do I really need to be out here? Do I really need to, man? Ooh, what kind of job is at the house? Oh, oh, I can, I can go. They got a hundred thousand dollar a year job at the house, and all I gotta do work five days, be home every day, and it's hourly, so my checks is basically the same thing, pretty much. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go try that. Forget this. Forget all this. Uh, uh <laughs> race to the bottom. Just like we let the Latinos take over the oil field in West West Texas and South Texas. And just like they took over, go and let the Russians have that OTR. Now, the Latinos got their own people. See, it's a little bit different. See, the Latinos, they got the motor carrier. They got the customers. They got the mechanic shops. And they got the trucks. And they got their own drivers. Bosnia, Russians... And all them people, Serbians, and all that stuff up there in uh, Chicago, they got blacks driving their truck, unfortunately. It's just, just blacks. It's just blacks, and it's a certain type of blacks. They ain't got their people driving. It ain't nobody from uh, Russia over here driving no truck. <laughs> that ain't happening. It's just, just blacks. Mostly mostly blacks, maybe 1% white, you know, but that's, you know, that's what, just breaking it down. So all I'm saying is, you know, it's OTR dead. That's all I'm saying. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Y'all see a lot of us YouTubers. We done just went home, grabbed these 100K jobs. I'm here in Black Heavyweight and hit a home run up there in Pennsylvania. Got him one of them 100K fuel hogging jobs. Monday through Friday, home every day. He coming off the road. He he, he just left the Russians. A Chicago-based company. He coming off the road. He, look, he took that shit back. He Look, he, he get ready to go home. He, he finna... He's going to have his life back again. He, he, not, he ain't living in no truck. I bet he'll never go back OTR ever again. So, you know, just something to think about. Something to think about. You know, uh, Andrew, I want to get off the road, but I, I don't have no house to go to, Andrew. I don't, no apartment, no nothing. Well, you know, uh, you can always rent. You can always rent, man. Uh, take your settlement. Usually, most truck drivers is making enough money to rent a spot. You know, uh, all you need is uh, three times. You got to be making three times whatever the rent payment is. So if the payment is thirteen hundred a month, you need to be making like you know at least thirty five hundred or something like that a month. So you got your settlements. You guys at least trucks. You got your settlements. Well, if you making what freaking I don't know twelve hundred dollars a week. You should be able to qualify. You know, they only want your last two settlements or your last two W two paycheck stubs. So a lot of y'all qualify to rent a place now. Whether your credit's straight or not, that's on you. If your credit ain't straight, you can work on it. You just gotta stay out a little bit more. So, you know, uh I would find a local job wherever you wanna live. Uh especially if you get one of these hundred K jobs if it ain't too late. If they say they gonna hire you Find your apartment in the area, man. Find your apartment. Look, just live in a hotel room and find an apartment or something. Do some apartment, rent a house. You know, I'm more for renting houses. I wouldn't necessarily rent an apartment. But, you know, everybody's different. Well, I came to work today. That's all that matters, right? I showed up to work to do this video for you. Is OTR dead? Is the oil field dead? Now, if you're still alive, for the people who are still alive for, click that link in the description box.
the link is for Robin Hood. Open your brokerage account up. Start putting some of that money in so it can grow for you while you're on the road. So when it's time for you to come home, got a little small nest here that you can use. So you'll be all right.